hello everyone cute shadrach here again today we have another special guest on the show a student union president aspirant who is eager to share his visions and motivations for a better student community so sir you just introduce yourself briefly okay i'm um, distinguished comrade todu Anduna thomas mostly called ayati from uh, college of forestry and fisheries department of fisheries and aquaculture i'm a 300 level student that's nice that's nice so sir um what position are you coming for okay i'm running for student union president okay okay um so what inspired you to come for this very position there are other positions in school that are worth trying and what working with why are you coming for this very position okay uh first i just need to thank you so much for that question i appreciate you for allowing me to appear before your platform i First, I'm a kind of person that don't like sitting down watching things go wrong okay. when I feel there are a lot of things I can do by myself. I don't like complaining without acting. If I know I can do something or I know that there is need for something to be in place and I have the potential to do it, I think I go for it. That's the kind of person that I am. And for the meantime, what I will tell you is that uh, there is a lot that as a union we need to achieve in the school. And I say, Lord, we have not achieved. So I'm here to do that which most people have not done to, in order to move our institution to a greater height. Okay. What are the things you feel should have been done that are not yet done, that you're going to work on? I think we have three basic challenges here, this institution. Okay. Uh, one of which is uh, transportation. We also have accommodation and also have the challenge of water. Uh, currently, I think the students are facing that particular challenge of water yeah. even those in the hostels because the non-academic -ac staff are on strike and uh, there's a lot of hardship so even uh, if you want to go out to purchase water now i think they are selling at higher rates this has become a very big challenge for students yeah. so this with these three basic challenges i feel if i come on board as a student union president i have some ideologies some strategies that i believe if i employ will ease these challenges at least if i don't eradicate it but at least let me be able to bring solutions yes. to it Do you have other people are aspiring for this very position for this very student union president yes. what sets you apart from them and why should we vote for you instead of them well uh that is a very interesting question i must say that I'm coming out genuinely. I don't have uh, anybody telling me that you should do this. I'm doing this by myself and willingly. I see the need to do it. And then first, I believe so much in God. And I think uh, I am being honest in all I do, even as uh, the race is still going on. I am being honest. And I think I have the experience that most of them don't have. I have the experience and i think the experience i have is that it is not by what you tell people or how how sweet you know you talk to people i think it's by how you make the people love you you know so i believe in the love first because i know that if i can gain the love of great macodians then uh, even if i win they will stand by me and i think they will not lose that hope but if i make promises or i i give the best manif uh, uh, manifestos and then i end up not doing what i ought to do then i think i will fail them woefully okay so you talked about your previous experiences that this sets you apart from other aspirants how do you how about you tell us about your past experiences in a, an elaborate manner okay first before getting admission here i studied at uh Akbar and Oshi, college of agriculture now polytechnic uh, mm -hmm. center for food technology and research sector program so i graduated there 2019 i was a sector president and i think i uh, the way i got into that position was something that was so alarming because when i contested a lot of contestants happened to step down for me and for the very first time I, uh, somebody came out for student union position at that capacity that the uh, other students will have to step down for him. So there was even no elections. Because oh, so you mean you were unopposed? I was unopposed. Wow. So I, I think that was because of the love 
student had for me. And because of this, I was able to discharge my duties diligently and effectively. And that is why I cherish that part, love. You know, I believe when you are loved, then you will be trusted. You know, people will want to work with you genuinely. They will be happy to interact with you. They will be free with you. And in that manner, you can be able to operate better. So, I, and then uh, from there, I come into Uniagric. I, I was uh, a course web, right, for 100 level. So, I interacted with a lot of aspirants that came down to campaign. And then my fellow student. So, I get to know a lot. You know, being a normal student without uh, being occupying a position, I get to know a lot. And then I also served in uh, the previous government where I also learned a lot. I know how the government went. I know all what happened. So I think I've learned from a lot of places, a lot of people. So if I can balance it together, I think I have an insight on what I need to do, what the people want. And then I think I can diligently and then uh, tell you that I can be able to provide that if I am being elected as a student union president in this institution. What qualities and skills do you think a student union president should uh, have and how do you embody these skills as a person? Uh, first, there are a lot of qualities, uh, being transparent in all you do and then being competent, that is knowing what you want and going for it. But there is one that I must highlight, but I think uh, most of the times we neglect it when we are being voted into a particular position, which is the honesty. You know, we need to be genuine. We need to be honest. Even if we get off, we need to be honest. Even if we feel that we, we are wrong, or at some point we did uh, a, a lot of mistakes, some mistakes, so to say, we should uh, be able to admit them and let the people believe in us. I believe if we are honest and transparent, the student will see us for who we are. And, you know, uh, we as humans, we are bound to make mistakes. So at some point, they will understand with us. So if we are honest, we are honest, then I believe we don't have any, any challenges yeah. at all. We don't. Thank you so much to you for coming out here today to share your vision and plans for great Macordians. It's worth listening to, to be honest. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Sir.